Obviously, no officer wants to take any other person's life. Um, they're trained, you know, to preserve life, including their own. Toledo police breaking down every moment leading up to the deadly shooting of a teen. We just heard it. A police negotiator asking the 16 year old to put the gun down several times after a robbery Friday. TPD's chief says he eventually made a move toward officers and eight of them fired their weapons. The chief says they felt what they they did what they felt they needed to to protect themselves and others. We do have team coverage for you tonight on this story. Maya May was at that news conference not too long ago. She did get the chance to ask the chief uh, of police here in Toledo a few questions. Also, Kaylee Kirby is looking more into the young men who police say robbed that Dollar General that led to this shooting. We start with Maya May. What did the chief have to say about the steps these officers took, Maya? Well, Jeff, the chief said that the officers on the scene did try to use non-lethal force and considered that, but because of the time and the area that it was set up and the way it was set up, they were not able to do so. Police say the teen pointed a gun at officers after allegedly robbing the Dollar General on Phillips. The officers involved are currently on paid administrative leave. And those officers are set to return to work tomorrow. In the body camera video, we hear them say, put down your gun more than 10 times. Chief Tyndall says no officer wants to take a life when they clock in for the job. And they are trained instead to preserve life, including their own. Unfortunately, after eight officers attempted to negotiate and to talk to the 16 year old James Jameson Turnbull, their efforts were not enough on Friday. The suspect took actions that put their lives in danger and residents. There were residents on this uh, in houses outside that witnessed this. I think you guys actually interviewed some of them that uh, had actually witnessed it from their porches. Um, so if he opens fire at that point, you know, chances are his rounds could go into other houses and hit other uh, innocent bystanders. So uh, his actions dictated what we had to do, unfortunately. And Chief Trinley did tell us that the officers have experience ranging between three and 23 years. We have more information about this at six o'clock and how this police chase started. Maya May in downtown Toledo for WTOL 11. We're going to continue our team coverage with Kaylee Kirby. She is looking into the background of these two robbery suspects. Yeah, so Kaylee, what are we learning about them tonight? Yeah, Melissa, Jeff, we have learned that the suspect who was shot and killed by Toledo police, 16 year old Jamison Turnbull, did have a criminal history. Now, in the past, he had been arrested and charged with assault and felonious assault. There was another person with the suspect when that robbery happened, we are learning it was Turnbull's 15 year old brother. Toledo Police Chief Mike Trenley says the brother was found not far from where the shooting happened and was actually reluctant to give them information once they found him. He also says both teenagers had guns, although at this time it's unclear where they got them, but he explains the trend that's been seen with youth having guns. Unfortunately, we're seeing uh, a disturbing trend this year with younger uh, suspects and guns. Um, you know, there's several different ways they get them. Uh, so a lot of times we're finding that these guns that are on the street are stolen, uh, either through a burglary or some other method from cars. A lot of people leave guns in cars for some reason. I don't know why. Now, the police did say that, uh, or police chief did say that the officers tried to de escalate that situation. We also tried to ask the chief what that suspect was saying in that interaction with police. And Chief Trenley says we don't know at this time. That is because police still have to be interviewed about the entire incident. Kaylee, you're also looking into the eight officers that were involved in this incident. What can you tell us about them? 
Yeah, Melissa, as you just mentioned, eight officers involved. That means all of them are currently on paid administrative leave. It also means all of them discharged in their weapons. We will again have more on this information in the background of these police officers, how long they've been on the force and kind of what they do within TPD at six. So stick around for that. Reporting live in West Toledo, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11. Now be sure you have our WTOL 11 app downloaded. We've got the full news conference posted right now. Plus, if any new information is released, we can send that alert right to your phone no matter where you are.